Hey, what's up everybody? Chance here, West River CCG. And today we have got a cool Sorcery Contested Realms beta box to open up today. I, uh, I've been waiting on this bad boy for quite a while. And I figured today, of all days, would be a great day to open it up. So, let's, uh, let's stop delaying and just get right into it, huh? I hope everybody's doing good. Uh, it's been a, it's been a couple... It's been a couple of days since I opened up an actual box, but, you know, hopefully hopefully you guys enjoy seeing these uh, box opens and everything like that. Another cool thing about these beta boxes is that, is that there is a little code on the bottom for a redeemable thing called Dust, I believe is what it's called. And you can use that to basically redeem, like promo cards and stuff like that, which I think is actually a really, really cool uh, uh, way to kind of promote people for picking up booster boxes and stuff like that. And it gives the stores like, you know, just like a little, little incentive to keep the boxes and stuff for a little bit, right? But every little uh, box comes with your own sorcerer, which is basically you. And then there's different kinds of sorcerers. I think there's a Deathwalker. Oh, you actually got like little tokens in here too, which is really cool. But yeah, so there's your box stopper. Anyways, oof, I am... <laughs> I've never opened up a pack of this or anything like that. Let's start from the left, actually. I like the left. So, yeah, let's, uh... Man, I'm just excited to open this up. One day I'm gonna have to open up one of the... the, the starter bricks and play a little bit and learn the thing that really drew me into this game was the artwork and everything i mean just ah just looks so good like old magic and i absolutely love old magic evil presence candle moss monks lightning bolt <laughs> deal three damage to a random unit at target location love it blood ravens fire bolts Oh my god, I just, oh, this old artwork, man, is just amazing. Now, for the chase cards, I really, oof, man, I really do not know besides, like, the cores. I know the cores are probably some of the better cards you can pull out of this. I also know that foils are quite, uh, quite hard to grab, but I think this is the rarity right here, which is ordinary for these. Land Surveyor, and then a Dark Tower. That's pretty cool. Another cool thing that I think is true. Oh, I'll put this guy. I don't know my piles quite yet, so we'll we'll just go with this right now. I don't not sure how to organize right now with these guys. But another cool thing about sorcery, if I remember correctly. Okay. Oh, okay. So the the big rare and everything is in the front. Yeah, okay, exceptional, exceptional, elite, and then ordinary. Okay, all right. Now now we're cooking, now we now we know what's going on. Give me one second while I fix all my, my piles and stuff. All right, and then boom. All right, I think that is better. We got the ordinaries, the elites, and then the exceptionals. All right, so. Psionic Blast is our first exception. Then Whirling Blades and Thor's Hammer Trinket. <laughs> Good old Thor. Wow. Undertaker Engine. Just crazy the artwork on this stuff. Alright, and then we roll into the commons. Scarecrow. Boil. Entangle Trail. Beast of Burden. Spin Attack. Porcupine Pufferfish, and then, so these are your lands, if I remember correctly. Gothic Tower. And the lands kind of function similar to Magic, if I remember right. You have, like, your little uh, symbol right there, which, you know, I, I don't know if that's equivalent to, like, plains and forests and stuff like that. If uh, some of that is more versed in sorcery is watching, please, please leave a comment down below and tell everyone how, how wrong I am on, <laughs> on all my uh, assumptions. Yeah, all right, so, bam. Exceptional fairies. Yep. Fireball. And then evil presence. 
Bottomless pit. Dang. Whenever a non-airborne minion enters this site, kill it. Dang. That's got. I feel like that's got to be pretty brutal. <laughs> and then we'll just go through. But yeah. Anyways, as I was saying, I think the cores are kind of the. Hey, sorry. I just keep getting distracted, guys. Wow. Wind blast. The foiling on these things is just awesome. And another cool thing about foils is, instead of a normal backing for the card, it's a full art version of the card, which I think is a nice, cool little touch. Yeah, that foiling is super nice. We'll keep the foils up top, though. All right. Cloud Spirit, Pirate Ship, Vile Imp, Sandstorm, and a Red Desert. But yeah, as I was saying, sorry, I keep getting distracted on all the cool cards that are coming up. The cores are the chase cards, I believe. Um, I can't remember. I think Maj Majestics, maybe, are the, like, uh, mythic version in Magic, I think. I think they're called Majestics, and those are kind of the high-end ones. I also think there's something uh, called a Kirio. Kirios in this, uh, in this game. And they're, like, s alternate art or special cards that have some kind of alternate art or something, but they have like a whole story behind them and everything, and I think that's a really cool little chase thing as well. Dispel, Pit Viper, Berry, Riptide, Scourge Zombies, hey, Crown of Victory, a unique. Oh, okay, so the, so the foils are kind of like spread out because this isn't, Wind Blast was an exceptional, and Crown of Victory is a unique. All right. That's so, oh my goodness. That looks so good in foil. All right. Hey, a camel. Lancer. The only thing with the curios that kind of sucks is, I don't know, I can't remember if there's like any identifier to tell you, hey, this is a curio. So make sure you put this to the side because these things are spendy. Uh, so that is a kind of another thing about this that doesn't really suck but it's like you got to be very cautious opening these up and just speeding through them because you just never know all right pudge pudge butcher dwarven digging team shrink puppet master yeah okay. any meat wall of fire grape shot Apprentice Wizard, Blizzard, Cloud Spirit, Vile Imp, Pirate Ship, and Sandstorm. With a humble village in the back. Yeah, I'm curious how many people have actually heard of this game and have seen stuff about it. I know it's become quite a bit more popular. Uh, quite a few big YouTubers and stuff have looked at it and messed with it and opened up boxes and all that fun stuff. So, I'm sure, I'm sure quite a few people, you know, know about it at least to a certain degree. Out. Outback Strider. Hey, and a trebuchet. Gotta have one of those, right? <laughs> All right, extinguish. Critical shot. Common sense. Dang. That artwork is just. Woo! That is imposing, man. Wow. Dread of Night's Demon. Fire harpoons. Minor explosion, plume pegasus, and then a camel. With a lone tower in the back. What a lonely tower. But yeah. Please leave a comment down below if you, if you guys have seen anything about sorcery or played it. Or maybe, maybe you created it, right? Who knows? <laughs> Vanguard Knights. Dang. That Cyclops is just crazy. Truce Sight Crossbow. Screaming Skull. So this is one of the actual artworks on the box itself. Yeah, you can see it kind of in the corner there. But man, I'd really like to know, you know, like, prices and stuff on these. <laughs> I'll have to go back and look them up and see how I did on this box. I feel like we're doing okay with two, uh, two higher than ordinary foils already. So I think we're doing pretty good. You know, if we pull, like, a, like a core or something, I feel like we'll be doing real good. So, yeah. 
I did watch people play this once on uh, YouTube. I think it was the I think it was the community manager and someone else was was playing it. I was sitting there, I was learning. I was like, man, this this, this actually looks pretty good. Like the the gameplay and everything. It I was a little lost at first, but I felt like I was getting it pretty quickly after a bit. Bane Widow. Then an Imperial Road. The lands kind of confuse me still. Uh, because you can like move them and stuff like that. So that that does confuse me a little bit. Uh, basically you're playing on like a grid from what it looked like. And that also kind of kind of confused me to a certain degree, but after a little bit I was kind of understanding what was going on. But you know, the best way to learn anything like this, any new game, is just to actually play it yourself, you know, and to have fun with it. You know, the first few times, whether or not you actually play it correctly or not, eh, you know. As long as you're having fun with it, that is the important thing. Looks like we have an avatar in the back, so that's pretty cool. Phantasmal Shade. Caven. And a floodplain. An exceptional sight of intermittent. In... <laughs> the, the words are a little too big for me on this one, I think. And yeah, so that's an exceptional. And then Mother Nature is unique. So I think uniques go above exceptional. So I'll have to keep my eye out for that. Then we'll roll through the ordinaries real quick. Ooh, Queen Midland. A unique mortal. Common, comely and covetous. <laughs> After an opponent draws a card, if they have more cards than you, you may draw a card. I feel like that's a pretty solid effect. So I'm going to say that's a pretty good foil to pull. Wild boar. Swamp. Teleport. And then a flame collar. So I think each, like, sorcerer, or your avatar, that's right, my bad, has kind of like their own little thing where this, this fella is tap, play, or draw a sight, which is one of your land cards. Tap, banish all dread fire minions. Shoot a projectile. It deals damage equal to the sum of their... Uh, I can't remember if that's their casting cost. Hold on. Yeah, I believe it's like their casting cost or something like that. Yep. So I believe it's three and then two of whatever color your sights tap for, maybe? You know, this is coming from a magic player, so trying to make sense of it with magic logic, so maybe that might not be the best way to go about it. All right. Mariner's Curse. Crave Golem. Siege Ballista. And then a Seven Leagues... Seven League Boots. Bearer has movement plus seven. I feel like that's got to be a pretty solid effect. It reminds me of, like, uh, Lightning Greaves or something along that lines. So we'll put those right here. All right. Bury, mage, roaming monster, drowned, mortality, unravel, sleep, and land sur sur surveyor with an arid desert in the back. All right. We are almost done with the first little column, and then we'll move on to the center column. Yeah, for the first little, like, stack of cards, I feel like we've done fairly decently already. You know? Ooh, Pillars of Zeros. So this is a unique site of forgotten aeons. Genesis. Banish all dead minions and you heal one life for each. Now I feel like that's got to be pretty, pretty good. Because I think you only start out with 20 life. Which I say only, but I feel like you can go down pretty quick in this game if you're playing against a good player. Coral Reef Kelpie. Sorry, I'm being a little bit thorough because, like I had mentioned, there are those curios in here, and I would hate to pull one and then get roasted in the comments by everybody saying you missed a curio. <laughs> and I'd like to actually have a genuine reaction to it as well and uh, share the excitement of everybody. The only problem is I really don't know what I'm looking for. So there's that, but it'll be all right. Fae Changeling, Wind Blast. Leap attack. And then all terrain vestments. Uh, bearer has burrowing, submerge, and void lock if it's a minion. 
a lot of, uh, lot of effects that sound good. <laughs> Deep Sea Mermaids, Spectral Stalker. I absolutely love the lightning bolt art on this. Ah, so good. Snow Leopard, Wild Boars, Rimland Nomads, and Lone Tower. You know, just from feeling the cards and messing with them, that was also the end of uh, the left side, by the way. But messing with them and feeling them and the artwork itself, man, it just, I really do hope this, this card game really takes off. I feel like they've put so much love and just time into it itself that it's, uh, it'd be a shame to see it not take off, right? Meteor Shower. So these also have, if some of these cards also have effects that like affect other grid squares, I think. So I believe this is one of those cards as well. Okay. All right, Mad Dash, Lightning Bolt, Fire Bolts, Hounds, Blood Raven, Swamp, Rats, Pirate, Leopard, and Spring River. Yeah, I'm really curious as to how this game will do in the future. I know they're already released, or talking about the release of their next set, because I think you had the Alpha set, which was their Kickstarter. And this was a Kickstarter game, just so it, you guys are tracking with that. Wow, okay, okay, we got two uh, two sites. That's pretty cool. Heck yeah. Yeah, this was a Kickstarter game. I remember seeing it on, uh, I think it was Alpha Investments YouTube, and they had mentioned it. It's like, oh man, that looks really cool. You know, I didn't really know much about it or anything like that, but... It definitely was something I was interested in, just because of an old-style art. Wave Shaper. Play or draw a site. You know, it really did remind me of, like, old-school magic art, you know, like Ice Age and Mirage, and even going back to, like, Alpha and Beta. Man, it, I, I was sold once I saw it. I unfortunately never did pick up any of the Kickstarter boxes, which I'm kind of sad about. Uh, steep. Oh, so these are... So these tap for dual, or you can get the... So these are kind of like their dual lands, I think. Okay, we'll put those up here. I feel like those are fairly decent too. Free City, Wildfire, and a Sneak Thief. Sneak Thief. Mage Slayer, Burry. But yeah, I'm, I'm just excited to see the next set. I think it's all about like uh, King Arthur and you know like the Holy Grail and all that stuff. So I'm excited to see what comes of that. I think uh, I think they've released a little bit of the spoilers for that set already. So we'll have to just wait and kind of see what comes out of it. Yeah, they had a uh, their Kickstarter release right, which I think sold extremely well because everyone was like, I really want these cards, and you know I don't uh, I don't blame them. I don't blame them because these cards are awesome. Yeah, fix up my piles there. Then they had their actual release of beta, which was, you know, if you were a store, you could order beta boxes and stuff like that from distributors, which is a really good sign that they're already working with distributors and stuff. You know, it'd be cool to see these guys kind of take off like Flesh and Blood and all those other card games. Maybe not so much like MetaZoo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> But, uh, maybe, maybe like MetaZoo, but, uh, doesn't end like MetaZoo, right? That would not be a, a fun time. Recurring Spectre. Fade. Disenchant. Water Buffalo. Boom. All right, another forest hammer. Thunderstorm and pur purge juggernaut. Yeah, okay, there we go. Purge juggernaut, an elite. Ah, oh, my my piles are all just messed up right now. There we go. All right, lightning bolt, scent hounds, wild boar, polar bears, and then that is into that pack. From what I've seen so far, the singles market on this card game has been, <laughs> it's been very good. 
It's been uh, you could definitely pull some crazy stuff worth some some good value. I think that's just how it goes with you know like beta boxes on new games and stuff like that. All right, exceptionals. Then your elite and a mage slayer, which is good. It's good to see a you know a card game like this with its secondary market doing well. You know that's that's one of the surefire ways to see a game die is the cards aren't worth anything and you know there's no point in opening up packs of you know cards aren't worth anything. So I'm glad to see that their secondary market is doing well. Free City, Secret Tunnel. And then, Harpooners. Ooh, the Geistwood. Now that is just, Ian Miller is the artist for this. And I think they've actually pulled a couple of uh, uh, magic artists as well, if I remember right. Don't quote me on that though, please. <laughs> And another thing that I think is true on this is uh, all the artwork for the cards and everything, all the artwork comes from physical medium, media, like paintings and all kinds of different stuff like that. There's no like digital art allowed on these, if I remember correctly, which is, I don't know, I feel like is a, is a really cool touch to it. It really gives you that feel of you're getting something that's handmade almost. You know, mass produced with cards and everything. Man, this pack is killing me right now. But I'm all for that. I absolutely love that. This is gonna be. Oh my goodness. I. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. This one. This one's painful. All right. There we go. A phase assassin. But yeah, that just kind of gives it its own. I don't know. Like, it definitely makes it feel more special knowing that. This, this piece of artwork wasn't just digitally drawn up quick and easy, right? It was hand-painted or something along that lines. Most likely, I think all of these are pretty much hand-painted, whether it be oil painting or any other form of painting. Exorcism, man, that is just, ah. Look at that ghost's face. It's like, whoa. Spin attack. All right, we are, this uh, this center portion's kind of gotten a little weak. We have three more packs worth of it, but hopefully we can pull something nice out of it. All right, let's go. So, uh, Headless Haunt, Divine Healing, whoa. All right, so Elementalist is your, is a new avatar for us. That's pretty, that's pretty wild looking. You have an additional, those symbols, I feel like that's gotta be pretty good. Especially since it was in like the unique or majestic slot. Ordinary Whirling Blades. Vicious Vortex of Exceptional Magic. Dang. Those foils just go hard, dude. Sandstorm. Alright. We'll pick it up a little bit. I think uh, I think I've had enough or I think I've done enough uh <laughs> talking about how nice these artworks are and stuff, so I won't keep you guys here as long as you have to be. Chain Lightning. Black Obelisk. Which is neat. And then we'll go through the commons real quick. All right. They're also not shy, they're not, they're not shying away from uh, stuff that Magic has banned quite a while ago. Jihad. That's an interesting, uh, that's a really nice foilment on that card, wow. But yeah, it's uh, definitely another thing Sorcery hasn't shied away from, I feel like, is the gore and the more, I don't want to say controversial, but controversial, I guess, is probably the better word to use for it. Um, but they definitely don't shy away from it, you know, to a certain degree. Bottomless Pit. Psionic Blast, that is just crazy looking. All right, another foil to add to the pile. So, so far we have six foils, which I feel like is a pretty good number. You know, it's uh, definitely not like magic. That kills the middle section as well, by the way. So we'll just get rid of this box. And... Boom, we have a little stack of cards right there. I'll get them on the screen for you guys. But yeah, we, I'm kind of disappointed we haven't pulled any cores yet, but you know, we still have an entire stack of cards left. So here's hoping. Oh, I couldn't tell if that was a, <laughs> a foil or not. Drums of Doom. Whoa. Warp Spasm. That is... 
Yeah, these foils are insane. Oh my goodness. Ian Miller again with this artwork. Wow. That is something else. All right, our foil pile keeps growing. Which I'm okay with. I'm really okay with that, honestly. I'll move some of these commons out of the way. Or ordinaries, ordinaries, my bad, my bad. Still used to magic terms. All right, I think this makes more sense. So we don't get many of those. There we go. I think we're good there. So, yeah. let's carry on with this adventure of new card game. Scavenging Fiend, Thought Constrictor, and then an Imperial Road, which is our elite. All right. Cave Trolls. Sea Crab, sed Sedge Crabs. <laughs> Gotta watch out for those crabs, they'll get you. And they're hard to get rid of. Anyways. Pikeman, Bane Widow, Changeling, and then a Riddle Sphinx. Yep, like I said, definitely don't shy away from <laughs> the more... Uh, yeah, I think you guys know what I'm saying with that. Which, hey, I'm okay with. I think throwing in that old fantasy, like, you know, sexy women, you know, over brutal kind of stuff, I feel like it's kind of a refreshing thing with card games you know magic i feel like has been going in one direction and you know flesh and blood is definitely uh went out there as well with like their their uh their brutalness and stuff like that with the cards themselves so i feel like they're on the right track too i feel like it's just refreshing for people to have cards that aren't so tame to a certain degree you know what i mean especially when you're playing like a game that's you know centered around like fantasy and stuff like that some of the old school stuff is always nice to see Backstab, Autumn Unicorn, Giant Shark, and a Cinco. Oops, sorry about that. Maybe that's an Elite. And then I'll just keep going. And boom. Man, I would love to see a core. You know, uh, I don't really know which ones there are. I also know there's a big Philosopher's Stone in here as well that we could possibly pull. So that would be really neat to see. Abundance. I just love the fact that they insert for the foil somewhere randomly within the ordinary, so you have to go through the entire pack to make sure you don't miss anything, which I absolutely love. Just adds to the search. Moon Spirit, Gnomes, Maze Minotaur, Bosque Troll, the spell, and nothing much in that one. All right, we are coming down to the final last packs. So let's see what this these final packs have in store for us. Wind Spirit, Skirmishers, Vir Viral Ve Revenant, Fade, ooh, Quagmire, Giggity. All right, Exceptional Sight of Swamp and Slow, Slowly. Nice. Sedge crabs. Those crabs, they keep on coming back. It's weird, I got medication for them and everything, but they still keep coming back. All right. Storm Sea, Ultimate Horror. This is another Ian Miller art, which I absolutely love the look of. My goodness, just look at that thing. That thing in foil would be awesome looking a bit. Unique Spirit of Unhallowed Eve. So that's another unique. Vice. Ogre Goons. <laughs> Got a little goon squad going there. So I'm curious if there's like, uh, you know, like themes you can build around each of these decks. Very treasure. Like, you know, like goblins or like frog, you know, what, whatever it may be, like tribal almost. It'd be really cool to, uh, to see that. I'm fairly certain, you know, there's not enough cards in each of the, like, you know, categories or creature types to really justify that yet, but it'll be cool to see if they can start doing something like that. All right, second to last pack. Can we pull a last minute 
Core. Our last minute twist of fate. Unique magic to reverse one's fortune. Ooh, okay. All right, and then now to the final pack. Again, guys, I always appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It got a little bit longer than I wanted it to, so apologies about that. But, Season Soul Sword. As always, I do appreciate you guys watching quite a lot. And in the final pack, we didn't pull a core. Oh, well. Anyways, I think we did fairly decent with uh, the foils that we did get. Because I don't think we got any, like, common ones or anything like that. But, yeah. Cool stuff. I hope to open up a couple more packs like these, or uh, boxes like these. And uh, let you guys enjoy the artwork just as much as I do. Anyways, appreciate you, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, see you in the next one. See you!